Rub up your engines! Can you buy nice tires and put them on your car yourself? I got these nice Kumo Road Ventures, four of them for a Tacoma pickup. So I bought this Harbor Freight Tools tire changer, it's $49. Does it work or is it a pile of junk? We're gonna find out. As per usual, nobody's telling me we'll pay you 20 grand to make an ad for our machine. No, I bought it, I'm gonna try it out. Now, if it works, hey, Harbor Freight Tools gonna be real happy. Oh, look what Scotty did. But if it doesn't, I'll say it's a pile of junk. Now, if this works, it's a big deal because you buy tires at a tire store, just price them up. They mark up the tires, they charge you a fortune to install them on your car. These came from UPS. They deliver them free because I'm a Prime member, right? So that's free. And we're going to see if we can do it ourselves. I'll just give you one disclaimer, which is at the age of 14, my father ran a Texaco gas station. We had a machine that was the same principle as this. It was bolted to the concrete. It was all manual. You used your hip and a bar to take it off. It was a much more solid unit than this. It was probably five times thicker steel. So I have already changed in the past hundreds of tires using a machine like this but then again that was then this is now i'm 70 years old now let's see if i can do it because if i can do it these scrawny little arms anybody can do it so we'll jack the tacoma up in the air then we'll plug in my electric impact wrench they're perfectly fine for taking these off we'll guess on a socket what a guess and we'll take them off goes the tire we don't need this well I'll take this crappy old tire away see it's pretty worn down there's no wear bars left in the middle time for a new tire now the first thing we have to do is break the bead off the rim so this is what breaks it so we place the rim on the machine so all right and we gotta let the air out and we take the guts out and the air will come out. These tools cost two bucks. They're not much. Off goes the air. Let's put it over here. Now the tires often stick on the rim. So I got some of this Bead Buster tire mount lubrication. And you grab a little bit of it. It's like glycerol. And mix it with a little water. Mix it all up. Then liberally put it on the rim here. All the way around so it'll break easier. We'll use this again when we put the new tire on. Then we get the giant rod it comes with. Pick this up so I can break the bead. Stick it in and pull down. It's the advantage of a long rod. Ah, you can see it broke it loose right there. Then you pick it up, you move the tire a little bit more, do another piece. We're gonna break it the whole way around. Now while it's breaking loose, put some more lube inside here. That'll help lubricate it more. Now you can see it's broken the whole way. So we turn it upside down and we do the other side. We have to break this side off. You gotta push pretty hard. Now take little bites at a time, don't get greedy. Now you can see I'm getting sweaty and I'm a man of my word. I'm gonna put this one tire on, but do not buy this cheap pile of crap. This is the first time I've used it. I've done hundreds of tires, and this piece is so cheap it's bent already. It's only a matter of time it's gonna break. It's just junk. But like I say, I don't give up. I'll get this thing off, and I'll see if I can put the tire on. But under no circumstance buy this cheap Harbor Freight tire changer. The metal's so cheap. I used my father's machine at the Texaco station from when I was 14 until I was 24 years old, right? The same machine. It was such thick steel, it never broke or bent. This is just a rolling pile of Chinese junk. And it is starting to get it off. But it's a piece of junk. Okay, I finally got it off. It's off the rim, but you can see. That's already bent up. I'd have to build a better arm. This arm's a piece of crap. Well, at least now we'll see if we can get this off and put at least one tire on. Get it up. Put it over. It comes with a little locking ring. Slides in the hole. So it won't move around much. When we put the top back on, I'd screw it on.
All right, here we go. There. That's on. Well, we got one off the rim, but hey, uh, that's about it for this machine. Let's see if we can at least put one back on. So we'll stick the soap around. Then you get the pointy end, stick it in, pull it up. And you can see, as we pull hard, it's starting to pull it away from the rim. And you gotta pull hard. So it's out, put it back in. But you can see, at least this part of the machine worked perfectly fine. <laughs> and you know why? Because this is thick steel, and that's thin, cheap steel. <laughs> So now we'll take the other part off. Okay, now we'll do the second side. Same thing, the pointy end goes in. Kind of hard to start them. There we go. So we'll lube the bottom side a little better. Get a bunch of lube on it. And I find if you use your hip, you can get a lot more left. And check this out, it's so cheap. The weld was so bad. Ah, I got a metal splinter in my hand, so I'm putting gloves on now. Even that part's cheap. So here I'm back with my armored gloves. So hopefully those splinters from the weld will get me. And we'll give it the old college guy again. Success! Well, at least I did one tire. Whee! So now we have the naked run. And we gotta take the old wheel weights off. They get stuck on there. There's one. There's another one. See if there's any more. Nope, that's it. Now we got the new tire. Of course, we're going to lather up the rim on the ridge and the bottom and the top. They have dots for balancing. And the dots over here. So you want to put that where the valve stem is over there. So we stick this on. That goes by the valve stem, which we can change later anyway. Doesn't really matter. Bust up up the tire rim, all the way around, and we use the other end to put it on. And in this case, this tool is pretty crappy too. It wasn't machined very well. Now the tool that puts it on is such a piece of crap. You can see it wasn't made well. I'm going to get it on, but I'm using my motorcycle tire tire irons because they're better made. Watch. Instead of that, I'm going to pry it on using this, which I know work. It's going to be more work, but as you can see, it's getting it on. A little at a time. You can see. Ta da! So I had to use a better tool. This is a Bead Pro tire iron made for motorcycles. I had to use another tool because this Harbor Freight thing is just a rolling pile of garbage. And again, a Harbor Freight piece of crap tire iron. Back to my motorcycle bead one. More work, but at least it works. Made for motorcycles, but it does work on cars. Just a little bit left. Just a tiny bit more. Success! Now I do have an air compressor on it because I gotta fill it up with air. With the guts out because air will go in faster. And you gotta wiggle it with your leg to try to seal the rim. Sometimes they stick. Now you wiggle them around and then finally it'll pop up. There we go! Success! Then you put the stem back in. And tighten it up. And we'll put 35 PSI in it. Then we're unbolted. Hopefully that'll still work. Oh look, it's still on screws. I'm amazed. I'm amazed that that didn't break too. And away goes the tire changer to the garbage can. Now we're gonna put it back on the truck. Nice brand new Kumo tire. Then this should snap over. 
There. These are the sockets don't get stuck that way. Now, so I'm going to pay a tire store to put the other three on. They can balance all four while they're doing that. I have a tire balancing machine, but let's face the facts. You're not going to buy one of these cheap machines to put them on, so you're not going to buy a cheap machine to balance them either. You might as well as pay a tire store. You can see this arm's already broken, so that's junk. It would need heavier duty or stuff, which it doesn't have. The tire iron they supply with the weld was bad and I put a piece of steel through my hand I had to pull out. And the end that's supposed to put it on was so cheaply made and welded on, it wouldn't even work. I had to get my motorcycle tire irons to put it on. So I would give this tire changer an F minus. You can buy tire changers that actually work. Like this nationwide 430 economy tire changer with swing arm style. $1,395. I have a friend with a shop has one of those, works perfectly fine. You're not going to spend that kind of money. Let's face the facts. These cheap ones, they're just junk. The steel is too thin. Now, I did watch a Harbor Freight video a guy put up seven years ago with this design. It was the same type of style, but some of the parts look differently, and the guy liked it. But, this is a giant but, that was seven years ago. I'm assuming seven years ago, the metal arms on the bead breaker were a lot thicker. They weren't this cheap, thin crap that bent the first time I attempted to remove a tire, like I say, I've done hundreds of them when I was a kid at my father's tax code. We had the $1,300 machine, right? And I never broke, never had problems. This, the first time I used it broke. So forget these cheap ones, they're garbage. And unless you're willing to either fork out $1,300 to five grand for a fancy one, my advice is go to auctions where they're selling the fancy ones and they might go cheap and you get a good deal. These machines can last forever. You can see they're very simple, right? Or just say, heck with it like everybody else to have your tires put on at the tire store. Well, you didn't have to waste $49.95 and bolting it to your concrete only to find out that this Harbor Freight tire changer is a rolling pile of crap. Now, maybe if you're going to change little bitty tires in this kayak trailer, I imagine it would work okay on that. But for these nice Toyota Tacoma Kumo tires, let the pros do it unless you either want to spend a bunch of money on good equipment or go to auction, fire sales, bankruptcy sales, and see if you can get a quality machine dirt cheap. Like I say, it wouldn't matter if it was 50 years old. They're simple steel, and if they were made well in those days, they will still work fine today. Just not this Harbor Freight cheap Chinese junk. I wasted my money so you don't have to waste yours. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.